Let's go truthing or faking. Kathleen is waiting by the big board. Good evening to you. Artificial intelligence. I suppose this could be the ultimate truth or fake. Tell us more. Well aware, especially in the past few weeks, of the power of artificial intelligence in generating fake content. Uh, but today, uh, the discussion is a bit different. Uh, it's on history photos created using artificial intelligence, one of which actually won an award recently. Here's the photo called Sudonesia, the Electrician, uh, where we see these two women side by side. Uh, this image won the 2023 uh, Sony World Photography Award, uh, created by the German artist. Boris Ildetskan, uh, who refused this uh, prize. Uh, the reason, uh, because the photo, if we can call it that, uh, was created using artificial intelligence. Here's his uh, refusal statement on the prize, where he says that he hopes, with this refusal, uh, to open the debate on what we want to consider photography and what not, and whether the umbrella of photography is large enough to invite artificial intelligence uh, to enter this uh, category or would this be a mistake that's the debate mark now you leave me thinking how do you tell the real ones from the artificial intelligence ones because uh, right now i haven't got a clue that's obviously a big part of this entire debate. Uh, this photo that we saw is an exception to the hundreds of photos generated uh, by AI, sometimes used to spread ultra viral fake uh, information online. Here we have some examples for you of this. Let's begin uh, with this post from April 6th, uh, together with this video uh, in the, the caption that reads, quote, uh, this is said to be rare footage from an unknown private film collection act uh, that supposedly shows objects in ancient devices that were discovered and then taken away during the Nazi expeditions in Egypt and Antarctica. Uh, so these images that we see, they're obviously uh, created using artificial intelligence. Uh, we found the original video in this account called Infinite Odyssey uh, that specializes in science fiction, uh, fantasy and horror and fully created using artificial intelligence. We can see uh, the post uh, right here and uh, we can also see the original post where they clarify uh, that this information was written by AI and that this is not real information. Uh, so a transparent disclaimer there, but this is not always uh, the case. Then we have a second example real quick. Uh, this large horse with the caption, a large a horse. Uh, this was uh, shared over 10,000 times on uh, Facebook and it was supposed to be an April Fool's Day joke. Uh, of course, uh, many people took it literally. Uh, for example, uh, this user who posts the photo and says the colossal equine is a majestic Percheron, a breed known for its imposing size and a strength. Uh, so a clear example of a simple joke that was uh, put out of context uh, using an image that was uh, generated by artificial intelligence. Mark. Indeed, if that's a Percheron, I'll eat my hat. And if it is a real one, it could win the Grand National, the famous horse race, which takes place where I come from, of course. But alas, I don't think it's a real horse. Um, tell us the historian's perspective, Catalina. Our team spoke to Joe Edvier Tuch, who is a Dutch historian who specializes in verifying uh, fake historical images. And she runs this Twitter page called Fake History Hunter. Uh, she spoke to our team member, Alexandre Capron, about the dangers of artificial intelligence in history. Uh, let's take a listen to what she has to say. Someone who hunts for people who spread fake history and misinformation uh, a bit harder because it is so easy to make. Uh, the internet is flooded with fake AI pictures. And uh, so they're starting to look more and more real. A lot of people are falling for it. And it's really difficult to, for people to be critical and think, hang on, is this real or not? So I'm getting a lot more work uh, where people are saying, is this a real photo? Is this a real building? Or, you know, the situation that you're looking at, is it real? And I have to go and figure it out. But also... So as she said, the internet is flooded with fake pictures that start looking more and more real, more difficult uh, to detect. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to debunk them all for you. Mark. If you think about how history up to now has been twisted by certain people for certain means and ends, imagine what they could have done if they had AI technology. The threat is massive and we have to all be aware of it. Catalina, thank you very much indeed for Truth or Fake. Thanks to Kate Moody for the business, as always. Great to see you. And uh, thanks to you for watching wherever you are. Stay with us. More to come here, live in Paris.